Hi everyone, in this video, we'll look at how you can add a video into a module or page in a Canvas course. And to do this, we're going to use the very versatile Canvas Studio tool. Okay, to start off, I've navigated to a particular module or page that I want to add the video into. And then what I'll do first off is I'll go and click on the edit button up here. Once I've done that, I will move my cursor to wherever I wanted to add the video to. So let's assume that's somewhere here-ish. Uh, now, normally we'd go to uh, record upload media here, but this time I'm going to show you how we'd be adding the video through Canvas Studio. And for that, we'll be clicking on this little V uh, icon here, which says more external tools. We'll click on that and we'll pick Studio and then the studio interface comes up. Now here, uh, you can see that it's coming up with the first uh, menu option is that it uh, will be uploaded to my uploads, but rather than upload it to my uploads, I prefer to send it directly to this particular module or page area that, I've, uh, that I'm targeting. And that particular page is in my sandbox. So I'll pick my sandbox and that's gonna upload it to the studio area uh, connected to my sandbox or in your case it would be connected to that particular course that you're targeting. So once I've got that sort of selected uh, we can then go ahead and click add and then we can simply pick browse files. I can drag and drop as well. Now there's the file I know I want to add. I can obviously navigate to wherever I know the file lives. Pick the file and simply pick open and that will upload the file. It obviously will take a while longer depending on the size of the file. Once the file is uploaded, you can pick the file as in select the file. And then you have a couple of options here. One is um, allow comments. Now this is a really good feature to leave uh, ticked on because allowing comments is a good way of uh, allowing your students to comment on your video. And uh, you can then respond to those comments and provide feedback and so on and so forth. Uh, the next option there is display download option. So here, of course, if you wanted to allow students to download this video, you can simply activate that. If you didn't want them to, you leave that as is, and then you simply pick embed. And then that brings the video into that particular area that you were targeting, and you simply pick save. You could have, of course, picked save and publish as well, but I'm not going to do that at this stage. You can also pick publish uh, once you've sort of reviewed the page and found that everything's as it should be. Uh, and that's basically it. So there you go. And of course, if you had unticked the allow comments option, you wouldn't be seeing this area. Uh, that's a choice that you can make depending on the nature of the video itself. So uh, I'd just like to close off by saying the advantage of using Canvas Studio to upload your video file is that it does not count towards the upload limit of a particular course, module or page. Hope you found this video useful. Bye for now.